Hey, what's going on with the YouTube? It's your boy Trending Ken, back again with some news you can use, man. And I'm back at you today with a little bit of update on that Young Dolph case, man. Now, we all know Cornelia Smith and Justin Johnson, straight drop, is down there in Memphis, arraigned and charged on the murder and attempted murder of Young Dolph and his brother. Now, today, they have charged another suspect in the murder and attempted murder of Young Dolph and also his brother. And guess who that person is? It's the person who went on the run with straight drop. Shondell Barnett, he's been charged with the murder and the attempted murder of Young Dolph and his brother. Now, we already knew that he went on the race with straight drop and we was all wondering why would you go on the run with somebody when you had nothing to do with anything? We thought maybe, hey, they was lovers, they was in a quarrel, they didn't want to leave each other's side, but that wasn't the case. What was actually the case is that he had something to do with it. We just didn't know. And I'm still was wondering why would you go on the run with somebody, but it leads me to believe that Straight Drop probably told him, hey, look here, man, you know they looking for me. You know you was with me when, we, when it happened. You had a part in it. They're going to be looking for you. You might as well go on the run with me. What kind of person is that, man? It's like that comedian dude, I think it was Mike Epps. He said that joke about he did a crime with his friend, and his friend got away and was hiding in the bushes, and the police didn't know where he was. And then he got caught, and then he walked by the bushes and said, come on, man, they got us. They, they got us. And that's what Straight Drop did to do. He was like, you might as well go on the run with me now because they're going to get you later, man. Come on. They got us. And that's faulty, man, to put yourself in a situation like that. But who would have known the Shondell Barnett cat was actually probably one of the shooters? And then they saying that Cornelius Smith, his fingerprints was found in the white Mercedes Benz. So it could be at, to a point where Cornelius might just get the stolen car if he can help them, you know, prove that it was Justin Johnson and Shondell Barnett. Because, you know, he got a paid attorney. And uh, Shondell, he's still on the run. And we know Straight Drop got the public defender. I think it's uh, Julie Game Goofy. Yeah, we say Game Goofy up here because Julie Game Goofy only won one trial in all of their career. Only won one trial in all of their career. So he like a one, he on a one trial win streak with this, you know. And he done lost so much, he know how to lose, so he might win one. That's why they gave him the straight drop. It's a crazy thing, man. They let the Shondell Barnett cat go on January 21st. And this was after, you know, a week or so of being in Indiana because Memphis didn't come pick him up. And now I don't know if Memphis didn't have all the information that they got now because when we seen straight drop go to that last court appearance it looked like he was up in there crying man Shondell was out there still doing what he do and Cornelius was getting you know his lawyer together and stuff like that and he might Cornelius might only face you know what I'm saying stolen car charges and stuff like that so straight drop didn't want to be in there by himself from the jump and it was evident when he told that boy Shondell to go on the run with him, although Shondell name hadn't been mentioned, man. It's classic. It's that classic joke that I just said, man. They caught us. Come on, man. They got both of us, man. It's your boy Trending Ken. I just had to hit you with an update. I'll be back in a minute, man. Subscribe.